So today I'm actually spending the day by myself. I'm having some me time. Johannes and I have been together for five and a half years now. I choose to spend all my free time with him just because I love to spend time with him. It's more fun than spending time um, by myself. But I've also realized that we share so much together that I have kind of forgotten how to be independent. And I used to be really independent and be really proud of my independence. And I just think it's good in general to spend time with yourself, no matter if you're really in a relationship or not. And just kind of in a sense, reclaim my power. I've also realized that I'm someone that makes myself really small in a relationship. It doesn't matter if it's romantic or friendship. I want the other person to be as happy as possible and to just really make the other person shine. And in order to do that, I feel like I need to make myself smaller. I think it's my ISFJ personality wanting to always help others. Anyways, long story short, I just thought um, spending alone time is a good idea to be more independent, occupy more space, if that makes sense. So, um, first thing I have lined up for today is to go to this amazing coffee shop that is nearby. So the cafe I wanted to go to is closed, so I don't know where to go to now. or gave me more social anxiety than I thought but the longer I sat there the more comfortable I got um, yeah so I just dropped off my things and now I'm out again to have some lunch I'm so anxious when I'm out alone. Um, I'm constantly overthinking everything and I don't know, I'm just so stuck in my head and I'm not present at all. And I think it's amplified by the fact that I'm in a foreign city and I don't know the language here. But awareness is definitely the first step towards doing something about it. And I am doing something about it, I'm taking baby steps. Um, yeah, it's strange though, I didn't think I, it would be this difficult if, if this sounds strange. I don't know if this is strange, if I'm the only one feeling this way, if there are other people feeling this way, but I feel like I have this, I think through Corona, an even more added sense of social anxiety, particularly if I'm out alone. I'm back in the apartment. It feels so good to just be in the comfort of your own home again. Um, yeah, that was a tiring morning, like especially mentally, I feel like. Um, but after the ice cream, I felt so much better. I, ha 
I went to look for a Ex Libris stamp for Johannes. Um, it's something I think will be an amazing gift for him. It basically just means, it's Latin and it means from the library of, and it's used to stamp the book so you kind of know from whose library it came from it, if that makes sense. So you kind of, in a sense, mark the books that belong to you. Anyways, long story, but I feel like I was so much more calm and not so much in my head because I had like a dedicated thing or task to do. So I was so much more preoccupied with that. And that gave me so much more of, I guess, like not a peace of mind, but I wasn't as in my head as much. But now I'm home, I'm back, and I'm going to do something else I love to do and I haven't done in like months, which is usually not the case for me, but I'm going to bake. So I've actually been craving cookies or like chocolate chip cookies for a while now, but they're difficult to get, especially vegan, so I'm just going to make my own. I already got the ingredients, I'm just going to make, make really simple ones that I can snack on. So I just noticed that I don't have a scale. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to eyeball things. I mean, I know visually how much one cup is. I don't have measuring cups here either. So I'm just going to imagine how much one cup is and then kind of guess that. It's okay. Bacon is about fun and it's an experiment. It's going to be fine. Okay, guessing how much half a cup of sugar is. This, maybe? I don't know. One cup of flour. I just ate half of the cookies already. I already had four and I didn't get my reaction on camera. But they're really good. They're a little too sweet for my taste. Maybe should have added a little bit less sugar. But especially for the fact that I had to guess all the measurements without um, a skill, they're really good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have eaten half of it. Here are the rest of them. I'm going to keep for Johannes to have a try. <sighs> I feel like it's been such a long day. I mean, it was really fun. I did a lot of fun things, but I also feel really exhausted for some reason. I feel like it's when you're at a new job or at a new school or at, in a new country and there's just so much to learn and so many things new things that your brain is trying to process and comprehend everything. So I feel really exhausted mentally. Um, but yeah, I wanted to document my learnings throughout this journey of being more independent and definitely also overcoming social anxiety. I think it truly is just a matter of practice and getting used to things. I'm definitely nervous and scared a little bit and vulnerable being this vulnerable i feel like i'm sharing a lot and i don't know if i'm the only person that has these kind of thoughts and troubles or if there are other people out there um yeah so if you leave a comment please leave a nice one and yeah definitely baby steps i it was a good start but i still have a long way to go but i know i can do this and it's I'm definitely going in the right direction by being aware of what I am good at or not and not good at and trying to push myself to be better and grow in certain areas hope you enjoyed this video be sure to comment down below I don't know anything your thoughts your feelings and I'll see you guys in my next video bye